Nelson Chumisa, the leader of the opposition, declared that if he were elected president, he would abolish the local currency, all violence, and decentralize power in a jaw-dropping exhibition of lofty claims at the Sakaba Sports Oval. The affable leader's speech sparked enthusiasm among his followers, who quickly flung money into the air, briefly interrupting his speech. Let's say goodbye to the useless native currency. Chumisa fervently exclaimed as he addressed the jubilant throng. We want to make sure that the money people earn has actual worth. If you choose to support me, the local money will disappear. His statement struck a chord with the audience, expressing the despair that many Zimbabweans have felt as a result of the continuous problems with the local currency. Chamisa's promise resonated with people who have been hardest hit by economic volatility as the local currency eventually recovered from a significant fall versus the US dollar. The opposition leader also raised alarm over what he called a name-dropping culture fostered by the ZANU-PF administration. In order to demonstrate his dedication to putting an end to violence and lawlessness, Chamisa committed to abolish this practice once in office. We have seen people commit horrific crimes, disobey the law, and act as if they are above the law. Under the cover of the ZANU-PF banner, they act in this way. One of our supporters tragically passed away a few days ago in Harare. There won't be any responsibility, and this can't go on. Violence would become a thing of the past under my leadership. Chamisa fervently promised. In particular, rural areas have seen an increase in reports of violence and intimidation in the run-up to the 2019 general elections, with chiefs and headmen purportedly leading these actions. Chamisa disclosed that he had been contacted by chiefs who said ZANU-PF had pressured them to produce voter lists. Chiefs have come to me in confidence and revealed that they are being forced to record the names of their subjects and force them to vote for ZANU-PF. Using violence and intimidation to rule without the approval of the people, Umnengogwa is acting like Ian Smith, according to Chamisa, who likened the former Rhodesian Prime Minister to Umnengogwa. Chamisa emphasized his ideas for education, promising to put a stop to the contentious continuous assessment learning activity system that has upset both parents and teachers. In addition to his views on violence and currency reform. In addition, he promised to reinstate university funding and promote free primary education. In terms of governance, Chamisa stressed his support for devolution, which guarantees that towns and cities have the authority to take independent decisions. Chamisa urged Zimbabweans to pick a new leader in order to bring about change as he closed his speech. The nation is moving in the incorrect direction. Umnin Gogwa is the coach who has to be replaced. He has let our country and us down. He proclaimed, we require a new coach. Although the main stadium, which is undergoing repairs, was not secured by the opposition party, the gathering was held at the Sakaba Sports Oval. Following Chamisa's stirring address, supporters were overcome with optimism and eagerness. With many looking forward to the approaching general elections as a potential turning moment for the country.